Yo, what's going on, people? This is Shok. I'm sure a lot of you Nintendo guys know, but for those of you who aren't necessarily Nintendo fans and are not following Nintendo news, there will be a Nintendo Direct tomorrow. And for the North for North America, it's going to be a Wii U and 3DS um, Direct tomorrow. Talking about, it says, games. And then Nintendo Europe sent around an email saying that their Direct is going to be about Nintendo 3DS games. So that's kind of a bummer for you guys. Sucks to be y'all, but uh, for North America... Wii U and 3DS games tomorrow at 6 a.m. if you live on the West Coast. For those of you who may not know, that means 8 a.m. if you live in Central Time. And then 9 a.m. if you live on the East Coast. Now, it says a Games Direct, but um, I don't think that means that the Direct is going to be limited towards games. I think they're definitely going to talk about you know the two system updates that are coming for this spring. Or maybe they'll say that for next month's Direct, I'm not sure, but... um. You know, it's Nintendo. They they always, you know, talk about other things they said they weren't going to talk about. So I do definitely think they're going to talk about, you know, some firmware, you know, things, things of that nature. Uh, like one or two more features that might be coming to the Wii U or to the operating system or, you know, to the Miiverse, things of that nature. But um, game-wise, don't expect any big, you know, Nintendo first-party reveals because, you know, they pretty much did that, you know, in last month's Direct. They're not going to have two directs in a row where they're just announcing, you know, first party after first party after first party after first party titles. You know what I'm saying? Nintendo is a very, you know, um, secretive company. They're not going to pull out their cars, you know, like that. That's not how Nintendo rolls. And like Iwata said himself, you know, they have a bunch of games they're going to announce at E3 that are actually going to be releasing, quote unquote, by the end of 2013. Now, knowing Nintendo, those games might get delayed, but that's, you know, that's what he said. But, um... As far as the Wii U goes, I, like I said, I really, really expect any big um, first-party reveals. Um, I, I think this is going to be just, you know, like for third-party multiplats, Wii U-wise. Because if you guys remember, at the end of the last Direct, Iwata said that they're going to be sharing, um, you know, their third-party efforts, you know, or whatever, their third-party games, you know, the multiplats, um, at a later date. So maybe this is that later date, so maybe we'll see a couple more... Um, Multiplats, you know, announced for the Wii U. Not that I, you know, really care or whatever, but for those of you who do, you know, you know, there you go. Um, 3DS wise, um, I think we definitely will get um a release date for um games such as you know Project X Zone and um what else is coming out near the end of this year? Maybe we get some uh, you know Animal Crossing, uh, you know, localization release date, maybe something like that. Not that I care because Animal Crossing is a largely irrelevant franchise to me. Star Chaser. But, but, um, yeah, for both Wii U and 3DS, I don't know. I, I'm just not expecting any real big, you know, uh, Nintendo reveals. Um, like I said, I could definitely expect some release dates. Like, maybe they'll finally give a solid set release date for the wonderful 101, which is a game I can't wait to get my hands on. And also, um, you know, Pikmin 3 will definitely get a release date for those, probably. Um... I will say this though, maybe they'll finally show some actual, you know, Bayonetta footage. And I know that clip, you know, at the end of that trailer they had at um the last direct. I know that was in game, whatever. But you know, you guys know what I'm talking about, like an actual gameplay video of Bayonetta 2. Maybe they'll finally, you know, show it, you know, unveil it or whatnot. But um, if not, yeah, they're definitely going to be saving that for um E3 or maybe just a later direct. But yeah, I do think we'll see. Um, we, there is a possibility. Of Bayonetta 2 footage, but outside of Bayonetta 2, I really wouldn't expect any other, you know, like big Nintendo um, first party. And I say first party because, you know, Nintendo, you know, it's pretty much funding the game and, you know, co developing it. And it's, you know, they're the reason why it's alive. So that's, I don't, I'm not saying first party in the sense that Nintendo, you know, made it and, you know, you guys know what I'm saying. Whatever. Um, but yeah, that, those, those are my thoughts. I think we're going to get a couple of, um, you know, um, details on the updates, the spring updates that are coming up, the spring and summer updates. And then, um, you know, some third-party multiplats announced and things of that nature. And then some release dates for already announced Wii U and 3DS games. Um, outside of that, I wouldn't be expecting much. Like I said, they already brought out their big guns, you know, um, in the last Direct. And they're definitely not going to bring out more. They're definitely going to save the rest, you know, for E3. Nintendo knows that the 720 and the PS4 are going to be shown at this year's E3, so they're going to save the really, really big guns, you know, for E3. Don't expect a, a Smash Bros. reveal or Mario footage or Mario Kart footage you know, or anything like that, because they already said that they're going to reveal those games, you know, at E3. So, again, don't expect anything big, 
but I do expect it to be a pretty, pretty you know, nice, you know, solid conference. Get some release dates, some confirmation of when games are coming. Then, you know, a couple more, you know, third-party multiplats announced. And, you know, things of that nature. So that's pretty much it. So um, that's for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think is going to be shown at the Direct. And I will see you fools later.